Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me. In this video, I'm gonna be in the garden using this telescope, the Ascar 80 PHQ. Now this is a telescope which is being lent to me at the moment by Sharp Star Optics, and it's only the second time that I'm getting a chance to use it. So join me tonight while I photograph the Tulip Nebula. Okay, so I have set the telescope up and I balance the scope um, and I should be ready for an imaging session tonight. Now, I set up early during the day, even though there are some quite dark uh, clouds above, because I'm actually heading out now with the, uh, the camera to try and do some wildlife photography. So I don't want to come back in the dark and have to rush my setup. I always find if you can set up in the light when you can see what you're doing, it's just so much easier. You can make sure you haven't missed anything. You can make sure all the wires are in the uh, right place. It just makes life a lot easier. So I tend to do that. I've set up now. I'm going to throw the cover on in a sec and then I'm going to head out and try and capture some wildlife images. But like I said, tonight I'm going after the Tulip Nebula. Now I have shot this target before, but that was with the Skywatcher 190 Maxitov Newtonian telescope, a telescope I no longer own. I hope you're enjoying it, Lee, if you are watching this. Um, but that was at a thousand millimeter focal length. This is at 600 millimeters. So this slightly wider, I should be able to pick up some of that hydrogen alpha gas that surrounds this target and hopefully pull together a slightly different image. But like I said, I'm gonna put the cover on now, head out, try and get some wildlife images. And when I come home, hopefully it'll be dark enough to polar align and start capturing some data on the Tulip Nebula. Okay, so I've just got home from my night with a camera and I got really lucky with the wildlife. I was waiting out in a field for a couple of hares. Um, I was basically lying down in a field just waiting for them to get close um, and a couple of them did and I got some really nice light as well and there was one shot which was just backlit by the sun which I was really, uh, really quite pleased with. Um, I also stopped off on the way home and got my first astro shot of the evening. I guess you can call it astro because it has the moon, the crescent moon in the image. So that was just a nice shot of the crescent moon nice view bit of a sunset so I'll show you that one as well um, but it was so nice just to come home be outside for two minutes 55 seconds while I polar aligned um, and now I'm pretty much good to start imaging and I don't think if I hadn't set up early I don't think I would have bothered to set my scope up tonight because I'm uh, quite tired after being out all evening with the camera so definitely worth setting up earlier um, so yeah I'll set this running and I'll show you what that first image looks like okay so I'm just waiting for that first exposure to roll in I've got about 10 seconds left um, but I'm sure you all know quite a bit about the Tulip Nebula anyway it's a great looking uh, emissions nebula in the constellation Cygnus full of HA lots of HA surrounding it so I'm going for 10 minute subs I'm shooting at gain of 100 I've got the camera cooled to minus 10. Um, guiding's looking good I'm at 0.54 at the moment um, so yeah all's, all's going quite well I'm just waiting for that image to pop up because I'm outside it's taken absolutely ages <laughs> ages to load on the screen um, but I will show you what that looks like um, hopefully it's looking okay uh, and there you go there's that image Yeah, I think that that looks quite nice. The stars are nice and round. Yeah, the stars are looking good. The Tulip Nebula itself is looking good. I'm picking up some of that gas, that surrounding gas that I really wanted to get. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm fairly happy with how that's looking. Um, so yeah, I'll let that run now. Um, capture as many subs as I can. Um, not gonna have a huge amount of time because the nights are so short, but um, yeah. Hopefully I can bring you an image. I am still loving the um, Ascar 
80 PHQ and know quite a few of you asked me a few questions about the telescope when I did the preview video or the initial impressions video last week. Um, this is my second time using it um, and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. The image quality coming off this, this telescope is really nice and the stars are looking great edge to edge. So yeah, I'm very happy with it so far and hopefully I can get to use it for a few more images before it has to go back to, to sharp star. But um, anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you, um, if you like the video, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'll put the image up on screen for you now. Um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.